my man. I gotta be free to reach my goal. To do my thing. To play my role. Cause I wanna kill. Kill. I spill poo. Poo. Oh. 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 Kill. 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 Well, con to be exact. You might reckon, you know, I'd burn around the house all day, would, you know, be raw, boring, and like get right up Hillary and Michael's nose. It's not. Like, they are really lucky that I'm unemployed, because, like, it leaves me free to fix all them little things that go wrong. <laughs> Look, the thing is, I really enjoy working at Gormley Gate West. But, you know, my wage hasn't gone up since 1988, and what with the cost of living the way it is, well, I, I just really think that I need a raise. You're sacked. OK. <laughs> Michael, I thought you were going to ask your boss for a raise last week. I was going to. I just didn't, I didn't get around to it. Well, if you don't ask, you'll never get it. Yeah, I know, I know. That's every worker's right to ask their boss for a pay increase. What's the problem he's scared? Well, let's just say that I'm a small, non-violent type of person. Let's say you're a wimp. <laughs> and this boss is a big, violent type of person, is he? She's pretty hefty, yeah. She? What, she, she gives the impression of being big because she wears these huge, great shoulder pads that make her look... <laughs> Gee, that's a nice dress. <laughs> what do you think? I think you look like Ida Butcher. Sorry? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I bought it yesterday, $300. 300 It's a great bargain. Colin, have you finished in the laundry now? Yeah, finished, all okay, right. OK, well, I'll put a big load through now. All, the, all done. Oh, well, thank you, Colin. Well, I'll put them on the line, shall I? No need. You did that too? Yeah, no, no, no. The, <laughs> the dryer kind of, like, dried the clothes really, really dry. How dry? That's a very nice dress. It, you look like I had a butt How dry, Colin? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. How? Well, mate, no, it's... You? No, it wasn't my... No, it was not my fault, Joy Earl. That, that machine... It was that machine. That machine has got too much of that centrifugal thing that goes... That, it goes around too fast, that machine. Uh-huh. You idiot! You ruined all my clothes! I've got nothing to wear to work! Idiot! 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 Ah, <laughs> oh, that feels so much better. Thanks, Colin. Could you see you for a moment? Yeah. Uh, Colin, my new happy coat wasn't in the laundry basket, was it? No, no, no. Thank God for that. So I went into your room and I got it. <laughs> Colin. A little bit of lint there. <laughs> What I don't understand is why he was trying to fix the spin dryer in the first place. Because he's bored, Julia. Oh, he's bored out of his brain. The other day I came home from work, Colin was hiding behind the couch in there. He'd been there for four hours. He was going to surprise me. Oh, my. <laughs> it's true. Nobody does that. It's true, I promise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> Look, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about your, your clothes. Look, Michael, come up here and speak to the principal and tell him I'm not coming in today. Well, well what am I going to say to him? Well, say I'm sick. But that's not true. Oh, OK. Tell them I don't have any clothes to wear because some dork brain destroyed them in the spin dryer. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell him you're sick. Oh, oh hi. Hmm? I'll speak to the principal, please. Look, um... Yeah, I'm calling on behalf of... Look, it wasn't my fault, and even, even though it was not my fault, I will replace all them clothes that I damaged. Oh. Well, no, you just tell me how much they cost and I'll, I'll pay you for them. About a thousand dollars. Really? <laughs> Excellent, fine. Um, I spoke to the principal, and? Julia. Well, he said that four other members of staff are already off sick. Yeah. <laughs> and he reckons that they can't find any more relieving staff. But didn't you tell him how sick I am? I said you had a bit of a cold, yeah. Ah, oh, you wuss. <laughs> I, I find it really hard to lie, Julia. Uh, uh, I find it really hard to lie, Julia. <laughs> what am I going to do? Well, why don't 
you just go to school? Oh, yeah, no, I'll tromp up in my dressing gown. What about that dress you were wearing yesterday? Oh, well, I can't wear that. That's worth $300. Yeah, I want to borrow a pair of more decks. <laughs> Thank you, Colin, but I think I prefer something a little more feminine. Oh, well, borrow a pair of Michael's decks. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm just going to have to wear the dress, shoulder pads and all. But, Colin, yeah. I'm going to go shopping next weekend, and guess who's paying? Robert Gottliebson? You! Uh, I don't have any money. Get some. All right, look, Colin. I've got the day off from work. While Ita's at school, you and I are going to sit down and go through the employment section of the paper and find you a job. Found anything in the papers yet, Colin? Yeah, a bit of this morning's toast. No, it's just... No, <laughs> We're supposed to be looking through the employment section. Oh. Oh, what about... Oh, this sounds, this sounds good. National Managing Director. A challenging opportunity for the right person with self-motivation, entrepreneur <laughs> skills, leadership qualities. What do you reckon sounds like me? Mm. Uh, oh, special salary package negotiable in the range of 100K. Wow. Yeah, there's a long way to go to work. <laughs> Colin, right? when they say K, they mean $1,000. That, that job's probably worth about $2,000 a week. <laughs> oh, I'm like in the ring. <laughs> Colin, just get serious, right? You can't always start at the top. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, oh, what about this? Uh, managing director needed for a building society. A short-term position. No, Just Colin. Look, let, let me go. What about this? <clears throat> the odd job agency jobs galore. We're a new company seeking multi-skilled employees to work full or part-time in a variety of fields. Oh, I hope they've gumboots then. <laughs> must be responsible, intelligent, <laughs> experience preferred but not essential, contact Mr. Cliff Walker. Oh yeah, how many K? <laughs> Salary, just enough to buy a new spin dryer and some clothes for Julia. That's just what I need. <laughs> Give him a call and ask for an interview, Colin. Uh, no, no, no. No, I'm not very good at them, them job interviews. Well, don't worry about that. Just be yourself. It's, it's what's inside here that counts. Oh, phlegm. <laughs> what counts is your personality, you know, like your psychological makeup. Uh, yeah, well, thanks, Michael, but if it's all the same to you, I don't think it's a very good idea for me to be wearing makeup to a job interview. <laughs> you do this on purpose, don't you? What? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Colin! Colin, we're playing chess, not drafts. <laughs> well? just had the best day of my life. What happened? Did you resign? No, no, no. The students, the staff, absolutely everybody respected me today. Must have been your people skills. No, no, no. I think it's the shoulder pads. Shoulder, shoulder pads. pads? Yes. Look, this dress gives me an air of authority. Hmm? You know, the toughest kid in my class is Malcolm Crosley. The guy with the tattoo on his forehead? No, that's his sister. <laughs> but you should have seen him today. He did absolutely everything I asked him to do. Stand! Sit! That's fantastic. This is the sort of thing I think school should be teaching. Because if you want to get ahead in this world and you want to be successful, then you're going to have to dress for it. I mean, look at you, Colin. What? You're never going to get anywhere in this world because of your clothes. Ha, ha, ha. Well, don't you get tired of that T-shirt, that same pattern? Yes. Well, why don't you do something about it? Well, I do. I turn it inside out. <laughs> Julia, you're happening to be talking to a man who has a job interview with a major company. You got a job interview? Yes. Oh, that's fantastic, good boy. OK, Colin, I'm going to help you get this job. And first of all, we're going to start on your dress. 
My dress? Yes. We're going to improve the standard of your dress. <laughs> You're a positive, go-getting guy. That's the message we want to get across with confidence and niceness. You're right. Confident and nice. That's right. <laughs> now, I'm your prospective employer, Ms Barnes. Hey. So use my name as frequently as you can throughout the interview. Just helps create impact. Right, Miss Barnes. Makes you appear confident. Absolutely, Miss Barnes. Uh, I want you to sell yourself, Colin. Yes, Miss Barnes. Right, Colin, you sound like Mr Squiggle. <laughs> a little less of the nice and more of the confident. Hey, oh. OK, let's take a seat. Hey. Now, what makes you think you're the right person for the job? Remember, confident. Yeah. I don't know. Positive. <coughs> I'm a positive. Go getting guy. Go getting guy. Who's willing to learn. Who's wanting to learn. Con hmm? Eye contact. I don't wear them. Honey, look me in the eye when we're talking. Oh. Okay. Have you got your CV? Oh, yeah, I'll wear them. <laughs> your curriculum vitae. Oh. oh. oh yeah. Curriculum vitae. In 1982... Don't do that. Don't make that noise. What noise? Yeah. I don't go... Yes, you do. I don't. You do. OK, I'm sorry, you don't. Hey. <laughs> In 1982, I worked with my brother Peter clipping hedges. Yeah. Edges and hedges, when only the best will do. <laughs> Colin, this is pathetic. It's only got two jobs listed. I only ever had two jobs. In 1984, I worked with my uncle Enrico as a pimp attendant. Ah, uh, no, no, that's pump, pump. <laughs> pump attendant, I've got funny eyes. OK, all right, that's it. Uh, I'll rewrite this, OK? Uh, now, there's just one other tiny thing. Where? <laughs> it's your name. It's very unimpressive. I think we have to make it more dynamic. What's the matter with Colm? No, there's absolutely nothing wrong with Colin. It's just unfortunate that you tend to pronounce it Colm, <laughs> which is tremendously forgettable. Oh. So, what about Chris? Chris. 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 C Chris. Strong. Strong. Smart. Cr smart. Chris. Chris Carpenter. Carpenter. Try that. Try that. Stand up, Chris. Right, yes. Chris Carpenter. Chris, Chris Carpenter. That's it. Strong. Chris Carpenter. Yes. yes. Don't say yeah. Eh? Say yes or indeed. Indeed. Make it dynamic. Indeed. indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, Chris. <laughs> Chris, indeed. That's it. Right. Chris Make it. Crystal clear Mate, who you are. Crystal clear who I am. <laughs> Carpenter. Chris Carpenter indeed. Perfect. Hey. Okay, go out there and come back in and we'll pretend it's a real interview. How, how will I know when to come in? I'll say next. Right. <laughs> next. Uh, Mr. C. Carpenter? That's it. Super Chris. Chris Carpenter. That's me. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Walker. Pleased to meet you, indeed. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, take a seat. Thank you, Mr. Walker. Thank you very much, indeed. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Great little outfit you got here, Mr. Walker. Yeah, well, we are a fairly new operation. Uh, you see, the aim of our organisation is to uh, form a pool of skilled and semi-skilled tradespeople <laughs> who can be... Uh, great! Great! ...who can be available to members of the public as required. How much you mean, Mr Walker? Yes, indeed. Let's lock it in. When do I start? Uh, well, hang on. Uh, first of all, I'd like to find out a bit about your background. Oh, that old stuff. No worries, Mr Walker. It's all here on the old CD. <laughs> CV. <laughs> Bang! You got it, Mr. Walker. You got it. Uh, look, you can call me Cliff. Uh... Uh, OK by me, Cliffy boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it says here you've had extensive experience in the uh, horticultural industry. That's what they all say. And you've uh, worked as a consultant in the petroleum and allied chemicals industry. <laughs> Guilty, I must admit. <laughs> 
Well, then what is it that particularly attracts you to our agency? Uh... Well, I'll tell you, Cliffy. I'm a straight down the line sort of a bloke as I can see that you are too. Now, I am a positive go-getting guy who's willing to learn. Yes, let me make that crystal clear. Let me make it crystal clear indeed. Indeed. <laughs> well? Well, what? Did you get the rights? Yes and no. What do you mean, yes and no? No. Oh, Michael. OK, all right, now that I've got Colin's image sorted out, I'll start on you. Ah, uh, thanks anyway, Julie, but I'm happy the way I am. Nonsense! Look, we can lose the ponytail, get you some contact lenses, maybe some steroids. <laughs> ah, spunky! <laughs> Did you get the job? No! <laughs> Never mind, mate. What, what do you... After all that training I gave you, you mean to say you did not get the job? I don't believe it. You are a complete dork. Julia. Oh, well, I gave him the right clothes to wear. I mean, I told you the right things to say. I even rewrote your CV and you still didn't get the job. What was the reason they gave you for knocking you back? He said I was the most obnoxious person he'd ever met. <laughs> I'll be in my room. Come in. <laughs> Colin, um, about what I said before, um, you know me, I d you're not a complete dog. Uh, I mean, you broke the spin dryer and you, you have ruined my clothes. Yeah, but it wasn't my fault. Well, maybe it was and maybe it wasn't. Uh, uh, Colin, I think what Julia's trying to say here is that, well, she's really sorry. Yeah. Um, and Colin? It's okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Colin, I... I called Jobs Galore, and they're still interviewing people. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I arranged for you to have an interview tomorrow. No, Michael, they've already turned me down. No, they haven't. They've turned down some obnoxious jerk called Chris Carpenter. Now, all you have to do is go in there and be yourself. Oh, God. <laughs> so, Colin, uh, what makes you feel you'd be the right sort of person to work for us? I don't know, I just sort of feel it. <laughs> According to your CV, you had a gardening business at one stage. Hey, edges and hedges. Yeah. When only the, the best, best will, will do. do. Yeah. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, though, that, that business went right down the tube. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it the recession? <laughs> no, I mean, brother Peter wanted his whipper snipper back. <laughs> You don't have another brother called Chris, do you? No. Well, according to your CV, Colin, you've only ever had two jobs, and each one lasted a little more than a few weeks. Oh, yeah, I've been pretty busy. <laughs> Doing what? Um, well, collecting Phantom comics. Ah, uh, yes, the, uh, the ghost who walks. Never dies. Do you, do you read the Phantom, do you? Well, uh, every now and then. <laughs> <coughs> Colin, your employment record is uh, hardly impressive. Hey, have you impressive. got issues 634? <laughs> there have been a lot of applicants. You know, the one where he marries Diana? I've got, I got two copies of that one. You, 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 could have, you could have one if you like. Well, that's, that's very kind. <laughs> <coughs> and you, you don't seem to have any references what here. About that, what about that copy where uh, Diana has twins? Have you seen that one? No, I preferred the old issues. Oh, right. What, before Phantom got that bulge? <laughs> yeah. Uh, the slave traders. Oh, now you're talking. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Yeah. And what about the Sing Pirates? Oh, the Sing Pirates! Yeah, uh, Garan of the Banda. Oh, yeah. Hey, what about, what about that one where Phantom thinks the devil is dead? Colin, uh, just stay there for a moment. <clears throat> How was school, Julia? Oh, it's 
principal wants my blood. He wants me to stop teaching my children to dress for success. How come? Oh, because stupid Malcolm Crosley got caught shoplifting in a menswear store. <laughs> he told the principal he was doing homework. <laughs> well, so much for shoulder pads, eh? What are you admiring yourself for and looking like that? <clears throat> well, I just thought if I was going to ask for another raise, it wouldn't hurt to look a little more, more professional. Uh -huh. Well, I'm just talking about a more respectable look, Julia, not that Frankenstein job you did on Colin. <laughs> Monster. Uh, how did it go, Colin? Oh, it didn't take very long. No, I knew it. Send the make up his Moroi quickly. So he didn't get the job. That's right. Well, That's not interesting, isn't it? Are you satisfied, Michael? I got a drop. Julia, it's no, he walked in there wearing those black pants and that ugly top, and for some reason they decided he wasn't the right person for the job. No, I got yeah, the job. Well, will somebody please tell me who is going to pay? <laughs> you got the job. Yeah, I got the job. You got the job. I got the job. Yeah, he got the job. Oh, I got a shoulder, I got a job. You've got Colin, that's great. Well done. Yes.